So welcome back to our video on a traditional baking curing. We're now a whole 24 hours on um, and uh, I've got my meat. So here's my original tray. There's some water in there now or some juices and I've got my baking cure the leftover stuff that I cling filmed. I've already taken off 400 grams there. That 400 grams, if you remember from our first portion, we'd split it down so we've got enough to put a little bit more in each day. Now the first thing we need to do there, let's just remove the cling film from the pork. So there's still a little bit of salt on the top there. But we just need to drain off this fluid that's accumulated. Now the easy way to do it, I'm showing it for the camera, but I'd normally just do this over the sink, but I'm gonna show you exactly what we've got. So here's the meat. So there's the top piece. So we can clearly see there's one of our bay leaves that's sort of softened off a little, softened up a little bit. But it's sort of looking pretty much like it was before. Let's go for a close view. So it's a little bit firmer to the touch though just a little bit firmer and the rinds just changed a little bit so we just literally set that aside there's my other piece of loin again pretty much the same as what it was we'll set that aside and here we've still got so there's a bit of the, the curing salt still there that's not dissolved and we'll pick this piece out again now this one has started now it's interesting you can see there's a definite pink colour to the belly. Now that pink colour has come from that nitrite. So can you see on the bottom there where it's been dipped in the fluid, that's picked up that pink colour. Okay, now what we're gonna do this time is, we'll reverse them so that we get some of that on the loin. Now then, my hands are covered in the fluid, which is okay, it's not a problem. Just move the bacon out of the way. Now you'll see that in my tray, if I just turn that up now, Watch the fluid come off. So you can see that liquid coming out. So that's partly the juices from the meat. That's partly all the salts. So you see why this process is, in a way, it's kind of wasteful of salt. What we do is we end up losing fluid from the meat. So there's my liquid. Because partly what we're doing is we're drying out this pork. Now, very simple. So what we're going to do then this time I'm going to swap over and we're going to put the belly in on the top. So we'll go back to what we're originally doing. I'm just going to rinse off my hands and dry them. Just so I can pick up some of the cure and not get it everywhere. So we're going to remember what we did the, the last time, the, the previous day, we put about a third of the cure. Again, I'm just going to put just a little bit of extra now, just more than a third in there because we said that the loin needed a little bit of extra compared to the belly. We're doing an all-in-one job, so I'll give it a little shake. And then we'll add the loin in. So again, we'll give it a good move around. Make sure it's covered. And we'll just do the sides a little as well. Plenty on the ends there. Because actually tomorrow what's going to happen, there'll be less fluid that comes off. The first day you tend to get the most fluid coming off. So we've got a good coating now, I think on the bottom. And then we're just going to put another, let's just toss it on there. About another third there. So a good third, maybe a little bit more. That can go in there. We'll just gently spread that round again. I'm actually getting quite a smell of pepper now, and also there's quite a smell there for the uh, um, for the bay leaves now. Now, because that's not quite flat, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it on its top there, so that again we get the maximum cure in the right place. And I'm just going to put it right in the middle some's going to fall off. Let's just spread that round. Trying to keep it on the top as much as possible. Just want it to sit, don't we? So, 
Just let a bit fall off the edge now and I'll catch it, go around the edge. I shall rub it in. My belly's looking really good. Nice and pink. So, just scrape my hands off. There we go. So a nice scrape and just give them a quick rinse. So there we go. So we've now salted the pork again. And remember, this is the second day and we've got all of this fluid. That's quite a lot, if I, probably hard to see from the picture. Um, hold on, let me get a measuring jug and I'll show you exactly how much we've taken off. So, a little beaker here. Let's just have a look and see how much we've lost. So remember, we didn't put any fluid in here at all. This is just salt that's been dissolved. And we, we've got, it's about 350 ml. And it smells quite sterile. All smells good. That fluid must be thrown away. You can't reuse it for anything. It's just a salty, briny solution. Think about it. If you leave that, potentially something nasty might grow in it. So we don't reuse it. We cast it aside. This bacon, now I'm going to re-clean film it. Already it started to sink in the cure. It started to moisten and do its job. So we'll do exactly the same tomorrow. We repeat the process five times until all of this cure's gone. When that cure's gone, We'll wash them off, let them dry in the fridge for five days, and it's ready for baking. So, that's day two.